It was a good weekend. Well, it wasn't really a weekend. It was a Thursday night and Saturday night. And, uh, you know, you take the three and a half hour, four hour bus ride up and uh, you're on the bus for actually eight hours that day to play a two hour game. So that's kind of the, the interesting part. But the guys were able to, you know, step up and, and get their energy level up to play um, after getting on, off the bus and um, played with a lot of energy, a lot of structure. Um, and, you know, we were real pleased the way we played. Um, the Northland team has struggled all year, but, um, you know, they have got a tremendous goaltender up there that keeps them in all the games and, and uh, makes it a little nerve-wracking when you get up there and he's stopping every puck that you throw at him. But we played hard, and I was real pleased with that. Yeah, you know, the playoffs, um, you know, when you look at it, it's, it's you're you want to play the same game and you want to prepare the whole season to get to the playoffs and then you want to be in a position where you're not really changing anything. Um, so you kind of maybe focus in a little bit more on the details, but the problem is in playoffs, everything is so magnified. Um, every, you know, uh, bad turnover, every penalty is, is becomes huge in that game because it can end your season. So. Um, there's a little bit more pressure, but you try and stay away from that and just, you know, stay with the simple reminders and what got you to this point right now. So I, I know players get a little um, really jacked up as they enter the playoffs, as they should, but uh, you don't want to get overexcited and, and change your game in any way. Um, so, uh, you know, like Coach Roadhouse, who's done a tremendous job for us all year, helping our team get uh, organized and ready for these uh, games is, is uh, instrumental in any success we've had. And, um, you know, his part, uh, helping getting ready for the playoffs will, will certainly helped also. Right, the, the Superior Hockey team, we've played them three times this year and so they've all been close games and I expect they will be this game on this weekend too. But, um, you know, a big physical defensive type team. Um, they've been getting pretty good goaltending all year. So, you know, we're going to have to weather the storm both nights and uh, play a tight game. Uh, they're going to be, you know, probably one goal games as you look at it. And then it's how do you play it? So we've gone through the playoff scenario um, with our hockey players as far as how it's laid out, the two-game series and the mini game and that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, so with like a superior team, a physical team like that, it kind of becomes a war of attrition. Um, you want to play physical against them and, um, you know, uh, not back up at all, but play a, a forward going game with a lot of energy and, and play in the offensive zone. But, um, you know, you got to be in it for the long haul.